Today, we're excited to welcome someone who is closing the gap between women and wealth. Kendra Meyer joins us to talk about branding a new company, building Stacks House, and promoting financial independence. This is School of Hustle, the show where we find advice and inspiration from people who are making their own way. I'm Shannon, the VP of Social here at GoDaddy, and I live and breathe the hustle of business. Today, we're filming from the hustle of it all at the WeWork Times Square in New York City. Everybody, let's give Kendra the biggest, warmest welcome. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. It's really, it's it's an honor. Well, I'm excited to have you because um, you recently launched your new brand, She Stacks, and it's a company all about building fi a financial ecosystem to design um, empowerment for women and um, empower them around finances. And I'm wondering, how did you concept the idea? Well, <laughs> um, it's been a long road. We actually started this company, um, my founders and I, right sort of after the election. Surprise, surprise. Um, I think a lot of women um, can identify with the feeling of, you know, just being a little lost, wanting to do something, not, not sure what that was. Um, and I, I sort of had an epiphany. Both of my, my founder and I had an epiphany around that we would never really have true equality until we were financially literate and confident. And, in our own personal lives, um, but the more we started talking about that idea and sharing that idea, the more women, you know, that we respected and looked up to said, oh my God, I feel the same way. You know, this is so emotional for me. I feel so, you know, I, I feel dumb. I feel frustrated with myself. I'm not doing more. I don't know more. And we just thought, if, if this is our community and our kind of like, boss, you know, boss babe on the coast. Yes. If we're feeling this way, then certainly all my friends back home in Idaho, you know, all women all across the country are probably sharing that sentiment. And so we founded Stacks House, or She Stacks first, and then Stacks House is our first um, offer, which has come, you know, a couple years later, but we've been doing a ton of research and talking to a lot of women and really ideating a lot of products and services that could potentially help sort of bring the confidence gap you know, yeah. closer, but... And so She Stacks is the yeah. brand. And yeah. um, yeah. How, how do you go about getting people to understand what it is and to find folks to join in in this conversation? It's a really important yeah. one. Yeah, well, we're, I, I think we're lucky because the conversation around financial feminism really has had a big groundswell in the last couple of years. So when we first were talking about this, you know, people like, we hadn't heard of Elvis, we hadn't heard of Ladies Get Paid, um, Girl Boss wasn't playing in this space. So uh, that's not competition to us. We welcome all of that. Like, this is a huge industry. Women are about to uh, own two thirds of the wealth in this country um, in the next 11 years. And we're about to uh, get uh, over $40 billion. No, that's not billion, that's actually a trillion dollars uh, coming to us in a transference of wealth in the next 40 years. And if we don't know what to do with it, that's a big problem. Well, your logo actually looks like a dollar sign. Well, yeah. And, but, it has, but it has a twist to it. And um, what was your process in designing your She Stacks logo? Um, so for She Stacks, for the parent company, um, I worked with, you know, we've built this incredible team, um, largely women, trying to be super diverse. And Maria Samodro, who I've worked with for years uh, in my job as an experiential creative director, um, she actually volunteered to help build the brand. She's been working for us for a year on both um, She Stacks and Stacks House. And we wanted something that was, you know, uh, definitely prescriptive, like you understand that it's about finance. Obviously our name, She Stacks, like you get it, but, but what's great about the name and about stacks is it's not just about stacking money, it's like stack confidence, stack connection, stack power, stack knowledge. It's, it's really She Stacks a lot. Yeah. Um, and then the logo itself, it is the little dollar sign, but also if you take it apart and put it together, it's actually a little heart. So people might not see that at first, Absolutely. If you, if you flip it. Oh, I love that. I did I did I did not see that. And now it's there yeah. as plain as day. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. Little um, wink. What other considerations were important for when you were building your brand? You know, I think for for She Stacks, it was really that we wanted to make sure that we created something a little bit disruptive in the financial um, you know, within the financial brands. But when it came to Stacks House, that's a different beast because- I do want to be, go there. Yeah, I want to talk about Stacks House. That, that has to be so much more like, 
all about the gram, all about the color, all about craziness. So, so, so let's talk about what Stacks House yeah. actually is. What we call ourselves is a pop-up with a purpose. So the world okay. of pop-ups, um, it's great, it's super shareable, it, you know, great design, really fun. Yeah. Um, but what we're doing is actually bringing purpose to that. So, so yes, you're gonna come to a giant 11,000 square foot space full of a lot of rooms. It's gonna be really fun, interactive, highly shareable. Of course. But the most important thing is every single room is dedicated to a different piece of the financial puzzle, right? So you have your, your debt boxing gym. You have your money shower, so you hit after that, which is all about financial wellness. You have your retirement rodeo, where you're literally riding a mechanical savings pig and learning <laughs> about the value of compound interest. So we have eight different rooms, and it's really important to us that truly this isn't just, you know, another pop-up. It's great that they exist. They're super fun. Everybody needs stuff to do. But that really walking out of this, you have some next steps. You have deep uh, financial education. You also have empowerment and, and you have a sense of community. Like you're not in this alone. I think anything that's hard to do, um, you know, you feel alone. And I think what we really want to do is build community and make sure that you have your stack squad. And there's also the side hustle salon, which is a stack salon, which is all about how to identify, you know, what are the ways that you can make more money as well as how to ask for more money at work and, you know, promotion. So our co-founder, um, Farnoosh Tarabi, who is a financial goddess expert, um, she's amazing. She was just on the Steve Harvey show yesterday. Um, she's on the Today Show almost every month. She's an incredible author. We're so lucky to be connected to her through Bloomberg and she signed on as our partner. So she's really, you know, driven some really hard authenticity throughout this whole yeah. space. That's amazing. And when guests walk out, what can they yeah. expect? So the end of the experience, you can stay as long as you want. We actually created a gold bar. Oh, really? Yeah. So the gold bar is sponsored by our partners, Dale Rose, who have been amazing. They're actually relaunching their brand around us and this whole thing. They're all about financial empowerment with for women. And so you can chill in the gold bar, you can have your glass of rosé, you can get inspired by a lot of quotes in there. And, and this is your communal moment to sit down and actually process what you've learned because we're offering a lot, you know. Um, and also the really exciting thing is we have a pop-up shop inside our pop-up with Bulletin. So I know, um, you know, you may be familiar with Bulletin. They're an amazing feminist uh, local shop. We, they've got them in Soho and um, in Williamsburg and it's all female makers. Uh, is it okay for the, the women who want to come through to bring men who might be in oh, their lives? Please. Yes, <laughs> we need men. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Like, like Stacks House obviously, you know, and, and She Stacks is positioned towards women because we know right now women need the most help, especially women of color. Um, so, you know, reaching income equality, all those sorts of things, making sure education has reached out to them. But yes, I mean, we need men, we love men. We have so many men helping with this project yeah. who've been incredible. And everyone's welcome. Yeah, oh my gosh, please. What sort of feedback are you getting? Um, well, it's actually been pretty moving. You know, it, I've it, just in the short time that we've had the Instagram up uh, and our site up, we've had you know dozens of women reach out and say, "Can I help? Can I volunteer? Cool. I'm not in LA, but what can I do?" Yeah. And just step back, and you're like, "This person I would have never been connected to in my life. Like, we helped just with this, and we haven't even launched yet." Like, Tell it's, me about these 20-hour days, because I know that you're <laughs> not <I> sleeping. No, <laughs> um, sleep overrated. Yeah, it's really intense. You know, I, yeah. we still all have our full-time jobs. I'm an experiential creative director. Um, so like yesterday, I went to DC, I had an 18 hour DC day, came back at you know, midnight, got up at 6 a.m. And so that was a good one. I got like five hours of sleep last night, so I'm real fresh. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's everything that people say yeah. building a company will, will be. Uh, but much, much, much harder. Yeah. Like, um, so yeah. And so what does success look like for you? So I think success for us looks like really getting the response from women and, you know, and, and people coming through this space, them coming out the other end and really taking next steps. We want to help women right now. What do you need right now? And then let us build it. And now we're going to get a little less serious, but we're going to have a lot of fun and play a game that we call Hustle Time. Kendra, <laughs> we are going to set a timer for 60 seconds. Okay. And we're going to see how many questions you can get through in that time. Team, can I have 60 seconds on the clock? Yeah. How would your mother describe you? Uh, zany. <laughs> Number one guilty pleasure? Dark chocolate. One word you wish you could take away from the English language? Lol. Favorite workout, arms, legs, or abs? None. Boozy brunch or morning workout? Sleep. What is your favorite word? 
Uh, Zoinks. Willy Wonka, Gene Wilder, or Johnny Depp? Willy Wonka. <laughs> Johnny Depp's problematic. Sorry, <laughs> I would have <laughs> said that. Biggest splurge. <laughs> uh, ooh, uh, getting my hair done. <laughs> Sour candy or sweet candy? Sour. Karaoke is about talent or commitment. Commitment. Snapchat has a long life or lost cause. Ooh, long life, I hope. Do you floss every day? Yes. First celebrity crush? Ooh, Shakira? Chocolate, milk or dark? Dark. Which Hogwarts house would you be sorted into? Mm, next. First concert you ever saw? <laughs> oh, Bon Jovi. Apple or Android? Apple. No oh, cheese or no sugar ever again? That's it. But That's no it. cheese, but I, but yeah. No cheese ever again or no sugar ever again? Uh, no cheese. <laughs> <laughs> That hurt my heart. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah. That's really good, yeah. Also, I've never said the word zoinks in my life. <laughs> Just to be clear, I have no idea where that came from, but that's what happens when you don't sleep. That's, don't that's also what happens when you have to say literally like, the first Scooby thing that comes to mind. Now, this <laughs> next set of questions, um, we ask everybody who's on the show. Okay. And it's designed to see how um, different entrepreneurs answer the same set of questions, and so we want to move a little bit quickly. Ready? Yes, let's do it. Favorite part of your day? Sleeping. <laughs> Best piece of advice you've ever gotten? Oh, let go of the things that aren't serving you. Worst piece of advice? Uh, fake it till you make it. How do you use your career to inspire others? I think by being just a loud, authentic person in all parts of my life and never never changing who I am depending on the situation. Ever felt like walking away? Absolutely. One thing you still need to learn. Oh my gosh, there are so many. Um, to not take, try to take everything on myself. I can't do it all. What do you want people to learn from you? I think just to be unafraid to be authentic. What's next for you? Hopefully being able to quit my job and do this full time. So let's just put that out in the uni. Who inspires you? My co-founders. And who challenges you? My co-founders. We let social know that you were coming. Oh, fantastic. And we have a question from Olivia. She wants to know, when do you feel the most confident? I think I feel the most confident when I'm like in a pitch room and I know my ideas are great and I can tell even if they're not saying anything, that the clients are loving it, and I'm just like, I got this. I'm killing it right now. Yeah. And there is one other piece of advice. Okay. Um, it comes from Noodle, our resident pug. Noodle? Yeah. <gasps> I've been Noodle. Noodle wants to start getting serious about saving, but he doesn't know where to begin. Oh my gosh. Noodle owes his owner, Jonathan, a bit of money. Does he not, Jonathan? Over 13 grand. And he never learned much about money in school. What advice do you have for Noodle to get on his way to financial fluency? <laughs> well, Noodle, um, I don't know what is racking up your bills this high. <laughs> I hope it's not vet bills, and I hope it's just really expensive kibble. <laughs> um, so, you know, if it is vet bills, we might want to talk about getting a little bit more exercise because preventative care is good to keep you from going so to the vet so Says someone who much. flosses every day. That's I know right. you care. That's, That's right. Man. I do. Um, you know, it's really hard to, to give somebody like Noodle advice on like cutting back because clearly he kind of deserves his life. Yeah. Um, so that is very difficult. But yeah, I'd say to try to prevent those vet bills by maybe, you know, doing a, a few little crunches or something a day. Maybe some He's Pilates. He's right now. Some Pilates. <laughs> and yeah, yeah Pilates. you know, also if he could get a side hustle, he seems cute enough to be like a celebrity dog. You know, I, I feel like I, like I'm... It. I'm friends with the manager of um, Grumpy Cat, and let me tell you, Grumpy Cat's mother does not need to work. So think about that. Work a little harder in photos. Ham it. Okay, you're doing a really good job. I, can't, I, can't, I really can't give any advice. I mean, he's killing it on every level. Yeah. yeah, he has his Instagram account of about 50,000 followers. Well, then there you go. I'm going to read you three quotes, and I want you to tell me which quote resonates the most with you and why. Okay. okay? Number one. Too many people spend money they earned to buy things they don't want, to impress people that they don't like. Number two, opportunity is missed by most people because it is dressed in overalls and looks like work. Number three, you must gain control over your money or the lack of it will forever control you. Ooh, number three. Right? Woo. I feel like that resonates with so many women. Like even women that, that are making money, 
you know, feel like they don't have enough. How can people follow what you're doing on social? Um, they can go to at Stacks House, um, obviously our website, serviced by GoDaddy, um, is on uh, stackshouse.com. Um, and then our broader brand, She Stacks, will eventually, you know, be, be putting more content up there. But for now, Stacks House is our baby, so we're pushing it hard. So getting those, trying to get those tickets sold, girl. Check out Stacks House on social. And if you loved what you saw, which I'm sure you did, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this conversation. Thank you. I want to remind everybody to watch School of Hustle every week. Follow GoDaddy across social because we have more wonderful people like Kendra um, talking about their endeavors and their innovation and everything they're bringing to the world. And there's more to be had. So follow GoDaddy on social and we will see you next week. Bye. Thank you.